My name is Frederick Obermeier. I'm the co-founder and co-director of Paper Tray Media. It's an investigative newsroom based in Munich, in Germany, working for the magazine Der Spiegel and the public broadcaster CBS. For me, the Panama Papers investigation will always be the investigation that will stay in my mind and I will never forget it. I'll never forget the moment when 400 journalists from all around the world investigated something in secrecy and then published all together describing how politicians, heads of states, heads of governments were hiding their money in tax haven. Collaborative journalism is, in my opinion, the future of investigative journalism because all around the world, media outlets and media companies have invested less and less money into investigative journalism, while investigative journalism is needed more than ever. So I think teaming together across borders means also like having more resources, having a better understanding of what is going on, because it's not only my view, it's the views of other journalists who have a different background being brought into a, um, into a project, into an investigation. And I think that makes those investigations better and we need more of them. We don't need only like the major investigative newsrooms collaborating. We need also investigative journalism collaborating in the local sphere. Local newspapers teaming up together to be able to do investigations that they would not be able to do, it, to do them alone. But we as journalists have learned our lesson. We teamed up, we team up since more than a decade now. And I think the investigations like the Panama Papers, the Pandora Papers, have shown the power of collaborative journalism. I think the results of investigative journalism can be abused. They can be abused by populists. But I think in the long term, it is our duty to reveal what others want to hide from the public. I think it would be by far worse for democracy if we would prove that there's nobody questioning what is happening in secrecy. If there's no journalist pointing their finger, pointing a light and shedding light, on uh, stuff like that, for example, when politicians hide their money in tax havens. I think we as journalists have one duty, that is to inform the public, to question and hold accountable the powerful, and then it's the public to deciding what conclusions they take out of it. I think investigative journalism can change the world for the better, because in a time when kleptocracy and autocracy flourish, we need investigative journalists who hold the powerful accountable. Without investigative journalism, there can be no healthy democracy. I would have wished there were senior journalists telling me at the beginning of my career to trust my gut feeling and to try something new. Because unfortunately in the media industry, we sometimes have this habit of older and more senior colleagues telling us that they have tried something, they failed, so you should not try. But I think that should not stop us. If a colleague tells you that he or she has failed in something, that only can encourage us to do better so that we do not fail.